Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Monday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time, but it's also a memorial. Today is the memorial of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury. And he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth. But she from her poverty has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today is a very unique memorial, the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, because it's not recorded in Holy Scripture. Uh, the resources for uh, this part of tradition come from uh, an apocryphal book called uh, the Proto-Evangelium of James, along with other church fathers who wrote about this subject. And it also was a feast of the church since the 6th century, so it's been around a long time. And according to tradition, when she was three years old, Mary was taken to the temple by her mother Anna and her father Joachim, and there they presented Mary to the Lord, and they, uh, after consecrating and leaving her, uh, uh, giving her to the Lord, they left her there at the temple to be raised uh, and to uh, be used in prayer in the service of the temple until she was a young woman. And this, of course, this reminds me a lot of, of the poor widow's contribution, because when you think about the fact that, uh, again, according to tradition, uh, Joachim and Anna uh, were childless for a long time. They desperately wanted a child. And, uh, of course, uh, Mary was given to them miraculously. And uh, as they had this child, uh, we, we realized the fact that she was an only child, and not only that, the only child of an older age. So the possibility of, of having another child is almost negligible. So like this poor widow in Scripture, Joachim and Anne were giving all that they had. They had nothing else but this child to offer the Lord which they did in a beautiful way. And what an amazing thing for Mary, born immaculate uh, in her conception, uh, was there in the temple to be trained and educated and readied for an amazing vocation that she would become the mother of God. So this feast day is about that time in, in history that predates the coming of Jesus to the, the uh, actual uh, presentation of his mother in the temple. And of course, uh, one of the things that happens on this date, November 21st in the presentation, is we see uh, a foretaste or a foreshadowing of what is yet to come as we uh, see the, the preparations being made by, our, uh, by God himself. God the Father preparing for the advent of his son, the coming of Christ into the world. And in doing so, first he has to prepare a, a vessel that can be uh, worthy to uh, be used as the first home of the human race of the Lord. And uh, so here is Mary being presented, being set apart, being readied for a holy vocation that later will provide the redemption for the whole world. So it's a, it's a wonderful feast. And again, it gets us a little bit more prepared for Advent that is about to begin. And it gives us an understanding of, of a great sacrifice of a mother and a father who, in having this only child, knew that this child was a gift to them, that they worthily uh, gave back to the one who, who gave them this great gift. So, again, it's, it's a day when we can reflect on the whole aspect of the readying of the human race 
for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There's a lot more preparation that is going to be done, and we're going to encounter that as we go through a lot of the scriptures during Advent. But right now, it's pre-Advent, and so we remember now how our Lord and his uh, first home was being prepared as Mary, the Immaculate Mother of God herself, was being readied by being presented and uh, to be given an opportunity to live at the temple. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, as always, it's good to be with you, and the Lord willing, we will be together tomorrow for another edition of Day by Day. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.